Today I'm making a video on how to create multiple variants in VirtuMart 3. This is something that took me a little while to figure out and I couldn't find a lot of very clear stuff online um, to help me so I figured I'd make my own video and that way I'd remember how to do it and uh, maybe be able to help someone else out too. So here we go. Um, so the reason we would want to create um, a product that had multiple variants in VirtuMart is if we have a product that has a bunch of different styles or variants to it. So the most commonly used example is a t-shirt, um, which is a great example because with a t-shirt you usually have several different colors, but you also would have different sizes. And so you can combine those different colors and sizes in different ways. You could have a small red t-shirt, a large red t-shirt, or a small blue t-shirt, a large blue t-shirt, etc. So there's a lot of different variations. And rather than enter all those products individually, which would take forever, and then they wouldn't be linked and related, they'd just be all over the website um, in a really messy way, we want to create one main product and then have all these little child products that are variations of the main product. So what I'm doing is an LED website, um, and there's a bunch of different um, varieties of lighting in there. So today I'm going to do, um, I'm going to enter a product, it's called a large LED step light. And as you can see, there are different colors and varieties. For example, okay, so this product in particular has three trim color options. It has brush nickel, it has black, and there's a white one somewhere as well. But there's also two trim options. There's window, which is the style here, and there's louvered, meaning the style here. So we're dealing with three color variations and two trim options that all have to be combined in different ways so that the customer can click and decide if they want a black windowed, a black louvered, a white louvered, et cetera, et cetera. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going into, this is the back end of the website here, the admin. Um, so what you have to do first is you have to go into the custom fields category right there. And you can see that I've already got a number of custom fields set up. And that's what you have to do first of all. So I've set up a couple, there's different ones and they all have different uses, um, but we're dealing with the multivariate one. So I've set up one called styles already. And if I go in there, um, I've named it. As you can see, I wanna show that title. I want it published. Um, the other important thing that I learned is you want to put on top all one word as your layout position and that means when you go in on the front end and you look at your website those varieties, um, those styles that you want your customers to click on, they'll be at the top like above the description um, in a really accessible place because you don't want those to get lost. So um, those were the things that I changed and edited in there. I also changed it to show labels. Um, I put yes. So. Um, there you go, so that's being saved already. Um, but if you haven't done that already, you need to go into custom fields and create a multivariant, give it a name, etc. okay? So I'm just saving it again just to be on the safe side, but it's already in there. So now I'm gonna go into my products. And I've already created a large LED step light, um, which didn't take much time. You just go to new and name it. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create these variants. So we go in here, uh, there's product information. You'll see the, um, the name is there. Um, the product actually only has one SKU number, even though there's all these different variations. So I can just put that right into the parent one. Um, other than that, uh, I haven't added a project product description or anything yet. Um, so I'll do that later. But for now, we're going to go over to custom fields here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, here's the custom field type. Okay, and I'm going to click on that and find my one called styles, which is that multivariate that I was talking about before. So there it pops up. So here we go. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to go down, um, we're going to use a custom label. And the first, uh, the first thing that we have is we have three colors. So let's put those in. We have um, black, white, and brushed nickel. Those are the three colors of this that this LED comes in. Um, so you see how I'm doing one per line, and that's important um, because that means each one is going to have its own separate um, variant. Okay. So now what I do is I'm going to go and save that right away um, before I do anything else. I find that uh, you have to save things a lot in VirtuMart. If you don't, sometimes you can't move on to the next step. Okay, now that's not the only um, what VirtuMart calls ramification. Um, there's the other one I mentioned, which is that this light comes in two styles, window or louvered. So we need to add that in. So we're going to go down here to new ramification. And again, I'm going to add my own custom label. And I'm going to call this trim options. 
Now I just click on this little new button here, this little green plus sign. And you can see up here, it's a, I find this takes a little while on my computer, but it is working. And now it's saved. And now I scroll down. And now you see how another larger window has appeared here. So now I can put in the two trim options, which are window and louvered. And again, I'm putting those on each on their own line so that they'll come up and you'll see why in a minute. Um, but each time I do that, um, that's a new variant, as it says here. Each line is a new variant. Okay, and now, uh, again, very important, I'm going to press save again. And, all right, and when we come down here, now it's time. Now we're going to start adding child products. And this is the very next really important step. You'll see that this button at the bottom here gives me that option. So when I press that, and again, it takes a little while to do, um, here is my first one. Okay, so, for example... Now I can go black window, and that's my first variant, right? Now the kind of pain in the neck thing is that to create as many child products as there are variants, you have to keep just pressing this button every time. It's one of those dumb features um, that I don't really understand. Oh, also, very important thing to do is you notice how I did that, created a new child product, and the one that I just created before, it got reset right so if I wanted to create a black window option I should press save before I create any new child products otherwise the next time I go there it's going to be reset it's not gonna be there anymore okay so now you see I've saved it and it's still there so I'm gonna keep adding some more child products this is just one of those pokey things about Virtue Mart you probably need a plug-in to make this a faster process um, so for now Let's see, I'm just going to add this many. Also, every time you create a new child product, um, it will say this, which is great. It'll tell you that it's created a new child product successfully, and it will take you right back up to the top of the page. So you just have to scroll down again. It's a little disorienting at first, I find. So there's my black window. This one at the top here in gray, this is, this is the parent um, item. So this is like the, this is the LED large step lighting it, without any variance. So we just want to leave that alone. In fact, it won't let you change anything. Um, you could go in and change the categories, but you don't want to do that. That's just your parent right there. So these are all the children that I'm putting in. So black window would be my first option. Black louvered would be my second. Then we'd have white window. We'd have white louvered. And last we have brush nickel window. And I'm going to have to create one more child product to do brush nickel louvered. But before I do that, I want to save so that these here don't get reset when I add a new child product. So that's really important. Just saves you a bit of time. Um, okay, so here's the child product. Adding one more. And here we go. So we have brush nickel and we have louvered. And those are all the possible combinations. We've got the three colors and the two trim options, and they've all been combined in different ways. Now I can go in and I can just, because these all have the same SKU number, I can just copy and paste them into each one, which is such a great option. Um, if, um, if I had different color temperatures, different SKU numbers were up here, I would just um, put it each SKU number in, but th this one all has the same one, which is great. So now I'm going to save one more time. And now I'm going to do one more thing before we look at the product. Um, I'm going to add an image right away just to, um, to the parent here. Now this will show up on every variant because I'm just going to add one for now. So let's find, there we go. We're just going to add this guy for now. There we go. I'm going to add that guy. And again, it's there, but if I don't save, it's not going to stay there. So we're saving again. All right. And again, it'll take a second. Perfect. There's that image. So now I'm going to go back to my product list. And now you'll see that here's the original one that was here before I even did anything, remember? Um, and now it has six children, which are all the combinations that we just put in. So those have just been created. We didn't have to go in and create each one individually. We just had to do it on that list in the custom features section. So it's a bit of a time saver. So now we're going to go in and look at the front end and make sure that this worked out okay. So I'm going to my products here. 
and I'm going down a large LED step light. That's it right there. That's the image I added. So I'm going to click on that. And when I do, here we go. So we have, this is, this is why I said to, when you originally create um, your multivariant category in your custom fields page, you want to add that on top word to the layout option. And that's so it puts it right up here. Otherwise, it's going to bury it down here. And if you have a long description, a long written description, you your customer might miss it. So now here we go. I'm going to say white and louvered. And if I add, and now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add more images to each child um, kept, to each child product. And then if I did that, then if I clicked on white and louvered, the appropriate picture would come up as well. So the, the way to do that is to go back in and say, go into your large LED step light, and then you add an image to it. But I'm not going to do that yet. Um, so that's basically how to do it. I hope that helps. Um, I found it, um, once I learned how to do it, it certainly um, speeded up my, um, my time quite considerably. So um, hopefully you'll find that useful as well. Good luck.